as from the graph question number 3 deals with what why kinetic friction is less than limiting friction this is the observation this is the experiment for a car also when you push it it is difficult once it starts rolling it is relatively easy so it is an experiment counter outcome now the reason reason is one object another object it is at rest for say number of hours then a atoms of a develop strong bond with atoms of a b this is one it is difficult to break it is difficult to break these bonds you will have to work against these attractive forces one two if the same object once it is set in motion initially it is in this position so this bond between this atom and this atom will break and you have to make after some time the object is let's say in this position so break and now it is make means what as the object moves forward these bonds break and the new bonds make process is known as break and make this process is very fast for example if a tire car is moving at a speed of 100 km per hour the process of this break and make is very very fast that is why there is no time that this bond becomes a strong enough so in this case this object a say one almira placed in a given position at your home for years together this bond becomes very strong difficult to break once you set the object in motion then which process underline in notes break and make or whatever it is make and break process underline that the process is break these bonds will break and new bonds formation will take place because the process is very fast that is why the bond is not as strong as in this case that is why limiting friction is more in comparison to kinetic friction time with you is 3 minutes to write